Hey there everyone, it's Miss Debra here again. Welcome to another series of book recommendations. For this series, I'll be recommending you books that are suitable for the young ones who are in preschool. I'll be going through the overview of the books recommended, showing you how they look like on the inside, as well as the reviews from those who have read them before. You can refer to the description box below to find the list of books I'll be introducing about for this episode, as well as where to get them. So, let's get started! Sparkling New Friends by Heather Aries Bernal. So this series is part of Scholar Stakes Early Readers line, Unicorn. Um, this book is um, about Unicorn and Yeti. Um, unicorn, you know, Unicorn can do magic and Yeti is just this big furry creature who cannot do magic. And um, Unicorn doesn't like to have snowball fights, but Yeti likes to have snowball fights. But they have something in common. They love sparkly things. So. This book is about the friendship of Unicorn and Yeti. And this is what it looks like on the inside of the book. Pictures, many pictures, colorful pictures, simple to read. And these are the reviews. So it's a simple lessons about friendship. Young children can relate to it. It's super cute. It's very funny for the little children. And it's easy to read. Owl's First Day by Debbie Goodery. So this book is about little owl. Um, it's a big day for him. It's gonna be his first day in school and he's pretty nervous about it. He rather stay at home with his mom and the little baby at home. But soon enough, when he went to school, he realized that there were many things to do like building a rocket, learning to fly, and he even made, you know, new tiny friends. So this is what it looks like on the inside of the book. Cute illustrations and the review. So, it's a delightful story to read for your kids, especially for their first days at school. Um, it can also be a great um, book for transition, you know. Yes. So, yeah. Do You Like My Bike by Norm Beauty? So this book is also part of the series of um, Scholar Sticks Early Reader Line, Acorn. Um, okay, so this storybook is about Hedgehog. He has a new bike and he loves his new bike. So um, his best friend, Harry, likes the bike too. But one day when Hedgehog actually asks Harry to go bike riding with him, Harry says he does not want to go. So why does he not want to go? Is it because he doesn't like the bike? Or could it be maybe he needs the training wheels? I don't know. So this is what it looks like on the inside of the book. And the reviews. So, super adorable book. The pictures are bright and great for the young children to read. It's engaging. It's entertaining. It's perfect for, you know, your young kids. I Am a Supergirl by Kelly Grinewald. So this is another Acorn book series. Um, this book is about Princess Truly. So she's a supergirl. She has rocket boots and her magical sparkly curls. Um, she is very clever and she used her strength to save the day. So one day she realized that um, her friend Lizzie has a rescue mission of her own. But her friend Lizzy doesn't feel so super. So, you know, it's up to Princess Truly to help her friend believe in herself and find her confidence. So, this is what it looks like on the inside of the book. Very cute. Okay, so the reviews. It's an incredible beginner reader. Um, it has rhymes in the story. Um, it's a cute story. It's about great adventures, um, about friendship, and it's super sweet. So yes, and it's also engaging. Surf's Up by Luke Flowers. This is another Acorn book series. 
um, this one's about Moby Shinobi and his dog Toby. So they have a exciting day at the beach, and Moby tries to use his ninja skills to build a huge sand castle, catch some fish, and even try to save a leaking sailboat. But every time he tries, he just messed it up. So, um, and then he realized that with Toby, his dog, um, coming to help him, he discovers teamwork. So, this is what it looks like on the inside of the book. Bright pictures. And the reviews. So this book is a great introduction to chapter books for your young ones. Um, it's a longer read than the other series books, but it's still enjoyable. Um, it's engaging, it has bright colorful illustrations like I showed you earlier on, and it has rhyming text as well. So rhyming, yeah. And um, it helps to build the reading fluency for your young ones, especially for those rhyming texts. Yes. Little Heroes of Color 50 Who Made a Big Difference by David Heredia. So, this is a great book to read to your children, um, to educate them and to inspire them by showing your little ones um, these, these 50 people from different, race, uh, from different races and ethnicities, um, how they actually shaped history, how they make a difference in our world, be it from the government sector, be it in science, in arts, or in you know many more. So this is what it looks like in the book, um, it's basically the cartoon figures of them and the little captions here and there um, and yes the cat uh, I'm sorry the reviews so it's a well-written book it has great illustrations it's highly recommended to um, to read to your young ones it's a great book if you want to introduce um, historical figures to your little ones and it's kid friendly so yes you can do it stinky face by Lisa McCourt. So Stinky Face is a curious little boy who has a lot of questions and um, his mama, she's very patient. She always knows how to reassure um, her little one and always giving him the right answers. So this time around, Stinky Face is struggling with confidence and he has some doubts about his abilities. So Mama knows the magic words, which is, you can do it, stinky face. So this is what it looks like on the inside of the book. Very bright pictures. And very colorful. Okay, so the reviews for from those who have already read the books. Um, this book is basically a story about how a mom loves her son and how um, she's always supporting him no matter um, no matter what and um, it is also very encouraging for young young ones to read so um, it's also how the mom in the story um, she always encourages stinky face to look at the good things in every experience and shows her child um, the, how to be positive in every situation. So yes, it's a good 